Hello all. Uh, in this lecture, uh, we are going to study about the how we can transfer a message from a Q measure one to Q measure two, and we are going to see uh, by creating it in through the script command that is the MQC script command. I will you will start from a scratch. Will you create the Q measure, create the listener, create the uh, queues, and everything you will see the message from a scratch. You don't need to worry. Here is the diagram I have made. What I am to going to fully follow. Uh, there is application A which is sending a message, and application B is receiving. And application A is hosted. Uh, e, application is sending a message to a Q manager which name is Q M A one, and other uh, application B is receiving message from the Q manager that is Q M two. What the what is follow? application a as soon as may send a message to a q manager q m a 1 it has a q dot q name that is q m a 1 dot alias it is pointing to a remote q that is q m a dot remote a remote q is pointing to the remote q of that q another q manager and also it having the definition of the uh, transmission q that is q m a 1 and trans to the sender channel receiver channel it will send go to the other Q that is the QM two dot local and from the QM two dot local it will go to the uh, that is the application B. This is the simple thing for from application A to application B. We need the alias Q in the QM one Q manager remote Q in the QM Q manager and the transmission Q and the center channel in the QM one. We need the receiver channel and local Q in in the QM two side. Let's create the everything and see how it is working first we need to create a key major so let me first create the key major for that we need to use crt mqm qma1 so in this way you can you can create the key major the qm1 q major has been created now let me to send create the qm2 now qm2 q major has been created you can see if you use the DSP MQ. Now it is indicated. It it is currently stopped. It should start. Now I am starting the QM major QM one. Now it has been started. And let me start the QM two. Now you can see it has been started and created. If you use, use the DSP MQ. You can see the QM one and QM two has been created. Now our this step has been completed. That we have created the key major QMA one for this and QMA two for this. Now let's uh, create the uh, other thing. We need to first create the. If you see that remote Q has definition, remote Q have one object that is point uh, that is pointing to that QM two dot local. In this, in, it means that remote Q for the creation of remote Q we needs the information of QMA one to trans and for the creation of uh, and and QM two dot local and for the creation of this we need the definition of this because it is pointing to this. So first we we are going to create the this. Then after that we are going to create the QM one trans then remote queue and then alias queue. Let me first go to the remote queue uh, 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 remote queue uh, manager that is the QM two. Let me go to the remote queue. Remote, sorry. For the, for going to use the run MQC. Now I am in the I am in the QM A two Q major. Also, you know that I have only created the. Q manager. Now I have to create the listener port to communicate each other. Let's create the listener port. Define you have to define listener. Listener. And you have to use. Uh, you have to use uh, listener name. Let me I am keeping the. Skip LIS. Find listener. 
listener dot tcp i am keeping the name that tcp and let's say use the transmission type transmission type i am keeping that is i am keeping the uh, transmission with tcp which is for tcp and port number i am keeping it as Mm. what I keep four seven one two three four did you keep it let's delete it now you can see how it has been created you browse here you can see here this is a protein created now let's create the other thing what I need to create I need to create the local queue of the QM2. Uh, to avoid take a, such a long time, I have already made it created in the notepad. You can see here. Here, I can directly copy here and paste. I will show you how what is this thing. Don't worry. If I if I enter that, you can see I am just creating the queue local define queue local. I am keeping the name as b.local. I am making the message make persistent by make, uh, making the message persistent by using the defa default persistent yes. I am sub giving the name of that uh, description and giving the max type as one thousand. And using the replace keyword, if anything else present is like that, it will replace that. And if I make a enter, it will create it. Now you can see it is created. Now our work. This has been also done. Uh, this has been also done. You can see if this has been also created. Now I have to create the receiver channel so that you can receive the message. Let's create the rece receiver channel also. So to create a receiver channel, if you see, I have made simple. You have to use this. I will under understand this also. Don't worry. You have to just use it. Define list define channel. I'm defining the channel in the channel name as this channel type is receiver and transmission type is protocol type is TCP and using replace keyword. If any channel is like this is present, it will replace it. If I make enter, it will you can see channel has been created. If you can see from here also, if you go here, channel has been created. You can see also Q has been created. Now our work for the this side has been created. I have created a receiver channel local queue and, and and listener port now go to the qm a1 and create the other things for that i need to go out from this i use eject now let to the go let's go to the run mqac qm a1 now i have to create the first i will going to create the transmission queue Let's create the transmission queue. If if you go simple, you have to do nothing. I will think I have just written a few minutes back because it will take not much time. If you go, this is the making the queue name that is a queue dot each queue type is local because transmission each queue is also a local queue. Usage is only then usage we keep that is not a normal it is keep that is a transmission. Everything you can you already know that what is that. Let me create that. It has been created you can see that transmission queue is now created let me create the other thing let me create the remote queue that is the remote queue don't worry about this also i will told you i am keeping the remote queue name dot remote i am keeping some different description for that and i am making it persistent i am making the remote queue name that is the other queue major name that if you see if message i am sending message from qma1 to qm2 so remote queue name will be that one b dot local a remote queue name will be qma2 if you see here same thing qma2 is the remote queue and qma2 local and it is this, this is the transmission queue name because, because a dot trans i am i am i just created a dot trans you can see here if you name qma1 
eight dot trans has been created. Let me create this also remote queue. Now remote queue has created. Now our one thing what happened? I have created remote queue transmission. Now I have to create the alias queue and point to this. Let me create the alias queue. For question of alias queue, you, this is simple. You don't need to do anything. Just copy. Yes. I am keeping the alias queue name is a dot alias, which is pointing to remote queue. That is that region. I have given the target type as the target type a dot remote and could get enabled you no need to write this because if you don't write it will also be enabled let me create that now it has been created you can see from here now it has been created remote queue transmission queue and this alias queue is pointing to the remote queue this remote queue and this remote queue have a definition of the this queue and transmission queue and now it's i have to create that sender channel because uh, information need to send from one queue to another. That's the reason I need to send the channel. Let's uh, uh, give the sender channel name. Because, because, but before giving the sender channel name, I have forget one thing. This also required that some listener port number of the uh, of the this queue also. So let me define the listener port. It will be good. Define listener. It's not a TCP and transmission type. Is TCP. Keeping the port number for this is. Four, five, six, seven, six, three. Any number you can give four digit. Now you can see it has been it has been created. Also, listener report has been created for the QM one. Just yes, refresh, you can see it. Now let me uh, let me create the what is what uh, each channel has been created. Let me see that. Now I have to create the channel. Let me create the channel. Sender channel. For sender channel creating creation, you don't need to do anything. Let's define channel. I am keeping the channel name same as receiver. Channel type is sender. Connection name is local host, and you have to I have to give the port number of this QMA2. What is the port number of this QMA2 is 1234? Let me put the port number for 1234. One, two, three, four. Now transmission uh, you can see transmission queue name is A dot trans. And the transmission port of TCP and which is plus if the present. Let me create now. It has been created. You can see channels have been also created. Sender channel. You just replace it. You can see it created. Now let me start the sender channel so that it will check the it will work, working or not. So starting it is start channel. Now you can see it has been accepted to create the sender channel. Now, just see it is starting. It will not take much time, it will start as soon as, as possible. Now, let me start the channel. initializing a binding now it is going to be trying state why it is going to be trying state let me think something one minute one minute one minute we will see the channel first let me change the because this is pointing to something and uh, this port number one two three four so this port number should be there let me change this port number one two three four you can check you can do also alter from there or delete directly or you can create it we go okay you see here you can let me try to start is going in a then trying 
again trying to let's counter the problem why this is happening if i go to there if you go here you can see when i have created the listener port then it is currently in a stopped state in sender and receiver also but listeners then but listeners must be running you can use define a start listener to start the let me start from here also you can see that it is starting and it will be started something like that running let me start from here as listener because listener should be running because listener is the thing which is used to listen on listen it the channels and the community let me try to run start again now you can see it is running now you can see it is running and you can see also receiver should be running it is running let me try to send message let's see how it is working let me try to send message let me put some message so that and see how it is working but to put some message let me eject from this here eject and to put some message you have to you are there is one command you can see use a mqs put q name and the q major name that is used so let me use that i have to put the message into the q dot alia a dot alia in q m a1 that's i have to use that a m q s put and let, let, let me use a m q s put then q name this is the a dot alia and then after that is the q major name is q m a1 now you can see here here it is giving giving that put the message let me put some message I have put, put just three message. Let me let's see it, its message has been sent now. You see here this queue. The four message thing because only already I have sent one message. If you browse the queue, you can see that message. That is a good boy. He is forceful. Now what is happening? Why soon as I am sending application is sending the message. Currently there is no application, so I am putting the message directly to the, this queue. It is going to remote queue then transmission queue then through sender receiver it is going to the this from here it will application a qma to b dot local it is going that from here it will going to let's application dot b this is the simple thing you can see uh, i am getting that so here i show you how to if you want to see the message you can see also mqs get karke. if you see let me show you if you go and see here qm2 and if you just in the q name e dot b dot local i also change the mqs put to get you can see that this is the message there are four messages you can see that's message that this is a simple thing you can see here that's the thing here we have seen how to create the key measure how to define this listener how to start listener everything from a scratch you see that and it's currently working next lecture we are going to learn more thing for now tata bye bye